This is the thing that fixes your grammar and it's got AI capabilities now. Whoa, why are we not talking about this more? It doesn't really fit the theme of the channel as much as I'd like it to, but great stuff there. Very, very simple, easy tool. 2024, whether you're watching this in 2024 or not, the world may never know. But what we do know is that there are some really cool applications that are coming out that I'm excited for you to check out. Whether they haven't been around that long or they have been around a while, but have made some great improvements in the last year, I wanted to talk about five different productivity apps to look out for in 2024 and beyond. So for me, I actually knocked this first product a lot. So I didn't like what this app was doing. ClickUp was in deep water with a lot of the productivity community. You know why? Because if you look up the ClickUp 3.0, oh boy, when was the original announcement? I think it was like May, 2022, and it just came out in like November of 2022. Four. So happy, so happy to have this this here now. But a big reason that I think ClickUp is going to be on the up and up in this next year is because the sentiment <laughs> has kind of calmed down. The marketing materials from them have gotten a little bit less robust and crazy. And people are looking at this app with genuine excitement about the new custom task types, a better inbox, and a great redesign. Uh, this is a lot less clunky than it used to be. ClickUp did not really allow for, eh, I'll just say it how it is. It, it was pretty clunky and I the layout sucked like for a while because they, they ended up doing so many different updates to the product that it ended up getting ridiculous to look at the layout. Now we have a great sidebar with things like inbox, home, docs, and dashboards that kind of separated into a much better version. Uh, you also can add things like whiteboards and, and goals, which are really cool and the ability to navigate through spaces now, a lot of it's just easier to handle. And overall, I think the rework to the UI is important, but also the goal is to make the product less buggy. It had so much growth on the product side for a while that it feature rolled out itself into oblivion from a performance standpoint. Now the bugginess is still there in regards to what people are saying on the interwebs, but it's better, right? Like it's moving towards a similar sentiment to what it had a couple years ago. And that's a big deal because ClickUp was really on the up and up, very high valuated company used by a lot of different companies for project management. And I'm excited to see where it will take us in the next year because it has great integrations. It has a great foundation. I just hope that it does really well for everyone in the next coming years. Number two, uh, this is actually gonna be Todoist. I know, wild, right? This outfit has been pretty small for a while, but some of the recent updates have been pretty cool. They've added a couple different cool things here, like viewing filters and labels in a board layout. So going to these and adjusting the view is something that you were not able to do before. Many of these were just limited to you know, a list view and it was frustrating. There are some minor UI UX updates that are pretty. Uh, having this right here is cool for the today. Having this add task button is kind of nice, even though the quick add functionality is still great. The aesthetic has mildly improved in my opinion. Uh, it moved away from this top right setting situation, allowing you to have a full page like this by removing the sidebar is awesome too. I think the aesthetic took a level up. The product has always been a very stable and quality system. And the fact that you have that, and then also in projects, they did just recently implement a calendar view for the premium users. So whether it be the navigation that you're able to see across the board here, and credits to some other YouTubers for showing the calendar view. I haven't, I got to re-upgrade to the pro version, but, and I'll do a more in-depth video on that when I do. But shout out right here, you can get a little bit of a view into the calendar view here, which was just not a thing forever and was really hard for me to deal with. I can't handle a productivity app for task management without a calendar. So shout out here to Todoist for making an upgrade, an upgrade that I think is gonna work wonders uh, in the future. It is only available on the pro version and on projects, but as you can see, they have kind of rolled out other views for things like filters and whatnot. So I'm, I'm thinking that they're gonna upgrade this moving forward. Now, number three on the list is Notion. Notion has released a myriad of features in the last year. They improved mobile performance a fair amount. Uh, they just recently are doing this Q&A beta. They had AI obviously implemented in the last year. Uh, they did automations. They finally, 
finally added some recurring task functionality that works. They had some decent integration improvements, nothing to really write home about, I'm gonna be honest, but it's getting in the right direction. Like I have more confidence in what their team is doing at the moment. Uh, buttons, really good. If they add the button functionality that you had in this last year to coincide with automations, I think it's gonna work absolutely great. They even added a bunch of different icons that it were really cool. Uh, they, they weren't there last year. I know it's like a minor thing, but I love it. We have subtasks now, dependencies, and overall the direction seems to be how can we level up this product and move it towards like an actual, I don't wanna say an actual all-in-one solution because I don't know if any product will ever be that, but it's moving towards more of a comprehensive solution for things outside of its own ecosystem, right? Like I can actually do automated recurring tasks here without needing a make.com or a Zapier. And that's pretty great. So happy about that, excited to see what they're gonna do in 2024. Now, another thing that I really am looking forward to in 2024 is Grammarly. This is a minor thing. You might be like, wait, what? Like that came out of left field. Grammarly has been pretty solid in the last year of implementing the generative AI in a way that hasn't been overwhelming. Like if I go to anywhere that I'm writing, whether it be an email or otherwise, there's this pretty simple response that can be created with the Grammarly AI system. Uh, it's definitely improved a lot of its suggestions in the last year. You can set your own voice now. It's got prompts to go along with Grammarly AI. I, I think it's one of the least talked about AI upgrades in a while. Like this is the thing that fixes your grammar and it's got AI capabilities now. Whoa, why are we not talking about this more? It doesn't really fit the theme of the channel as much as I'd like it to, but generally speaking, like you can press a prompt and respond pretty easily. It's, I, I don't know, to me, like press insert, like boom, email responded. That's that's a cool functionality. And that's on top of the fact that it also fixes your grammar and whatnot. Like what? Great stuff there. Very, very simple, easy tool. It's been here with Grammarly Go for a while, but no one really has like been talking about it in my opinion. And last but not least, Let's talk about SmartSuite. So SmartSuite has been a product that I've enjoyed checking out for the last year. I've done some videos reviewing it. They do really great work on the product side. They're constantly rolling out features. I, I know because I made their newsletters. And from what I've seen with them, they just want to continue to make the product better. Uh, met the CEO, great guy. He continues to push the team to make a very quality product. I would say it's a ClickUp alternative it's something that I would definitely check out, supporting smaller, you know, sized apps like this one that do have the best intentions of the customer at heart, I think is something that we really gotta start pushing towards more as a community. The pricing on this is pretty reasonable. Uh, you can get away with a free plan for the most part. And the rest of the plans are very transparent pricing wise, you know? Like we're not really worried about a what if on the pricing side, especially even on the enterprise side, right? Like and, and you never see like transparent pricing for enterprises, it's always a talk to our sales team, which is pretty reasonable. They have great integrations. I love their like integrations with Gmail, Slack, all that kind of stuff. If you're in the kind of ecosystem where you do utilize productivity apps for automation purposes to coincide with your project management, it's awesome here. They have great forms, dashboards, myriad of different things coming out here. They haven't been around for that long and I'm excited to see where their product shines the next year. If you're interested in learning more about productivity tools like this, or interested in actually having me create content for your productivity apps, make sure to go to riseproductive.com slash content hyphen services. I have been doing this for the past year and it's been a very meaningful experience for me to learn about all these different productivity apps and help companies, possibly like yours, learn how to create better content for your product. Also, for those of you who wanna watch more content about this, make sure to check out this recommended video that'll help you improve your productivity skills even more.